Hey guys, welcome back to Rewild, where we talk about environment, psychology, and other interesting things. And today we are discussing the idea of gratitude. So I am not a big one for Thanksgiving as a holiday, um, but that's okay. I do really enjoy the food and the excuse to gather with friends and family. So I wanted to celebrate a little bit later after the fact by discussing the idea of gratitude and thinking about it in terms of the psychological benefits of gratitude. So one little piece of research that I wanted to share for today's episode is some studies that have been done on gratitude that show pretty definitively that just one small exercise a day, if you are feeling a little bit blue or looking to improve your mental health, can be done just using gratitude alone. So the way this works is a study was done comparing a control group, which is a group that is not doing anything different, to a group of individuals that were asked to journal just a couple of things that they are grateful for every morning. So this group that journaled the things that they were grateful for, they had way bigger differences in their level of joy, life satisfaction, and overall well-being. So what I want to suggest to all of us, especially during the holiday season, which can be a little bit overwhelming for some emotionally, financially, is to try and challenge yourself by looking at this research and seeing how you can implement it into your life. So for myself, I'm considering using it, uh, for, I think, for like 60 days or something like that. Uh, some say 21, but... I'm probably going to journal the things I'm grateful for every morning until about mid-January. So if you'd like to do that with me, that is my challenge for you for utilizing this exercise. And if you would like to know more about the power of gratitude and that research, I will link some resources to unpack that a little bit more in the description of this video. So don't forget to write a few things that you are grateful for. The way that this works is it starts to rewire the brain to help you to focus on those things. Uh, Another version of that might be kind of what you focus on grows or similarly affirmations. I think in a future video, I'll talk a little bit more about affirmations because the research is a little bit hit or miss on that, although there is a lot of interesting things that are very affirming. For those of you who practice affirmations, affirmations are just sort of like positive self-talk. And there are some ways that you can do it a little bit more effectively than others and different tips and tricks. So try either the gratitude journaling or affirmations or a little bit of both. Try it every morning just for a couple of minutes so it's really easy and attainable to accomplish. And let me know in the comments if you've noticed any changes over time or if you already do gratitude journaling in the morning. You can either do this in the morning to start your day or at night. Personally, I think in the morning is probably what I'm going to do just to kind of set the tone for the day in a positive way. And I'm excited to maybe compare a now versus in two months to see if I too had the positive results that the subjects in this study did. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. I'll be posting a couple more holiday themed videos, a little bit more on decluttering because people seem to enjoy those. And of course, more psychology and eco-psychology. We'll see you next time. Take care.